I'm Bernard Goh from Hands Percussion. I'm doing this drumming thing, Chinese drumming thing, uh, for about 20 years. Actually, I'm a school band boy, so I play trumpets. I'm a trumpeter. Okay, and then because of my feet, uh, my, my trainer asked me to go for South Suffolk, the big one. I hate it. I have to carry the whole big, big, you know, I mean, things, you know, around. But slowly, when I become the leader, the drum major, with, with the maze, you know, so I have to sit at the side when they are doing music. So I sit nearer to the percussionist. So sometimes I look at them, I say, wow, percussionist is so smart, you know, percussionist is so, so good, you know, I mean, very, very charming. So I start learning that. Music is very important in my life. It plays a very important role in my life. I think it's something to do with my, my parents. Actually, I found out, you know, when I grew up, you know, my dad is a very good harmonica player. I don't know. And then my, my mom used to sing, then I don't know also. So both of them are in school band. They met in, in school. Then finally, I mean, when I come into this industry, this drum, and then finally they show me a picture of both of them when they are very, very young. I say, how can you do this to me? You know, my dad is a drummer, you know, back then, the drummer. Ha 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 ha. Then, then he say, ha ha ha. That's why, ha ha ha. I didn't tell you. Drummers, I think, is very straightforward. He's not like other instruments, not like other instruments, pianist or violinist or cellist, you know. Drum is boom, straight away. So I think everyone can be a percussionist. Yes, everyone, because it's everywhere. Rhythm is everywhere. We have a heartbeat, we have a tone, you know, intonation, you know, and then the movement, that's rhythm also. percussion my company actually want to push it to another limit is me myself and my group of uh, uh, we say core team members we want to make this into a very Malaysian based so it's not very very Sinua very Chinese no because we brought up we have Malay culture other culture Indian Bangla okay Aborigine so I think it's something that we have to embrace, embrace the culture that, you know, really like support us to become a group from Malaysia. It's like our food, you know. Um, Chinese, we have porridge. Chinese, we have like uh, chao kuei tiao, you know, I mean, but actually morning sometimes, you know, I have breakfast like nasi lemak. Nasi lemak is not Chinese culture. Like night time, we go and have a cup of tea that is a very mama style. It's not Chinese culture, you know. Uh, I'm not grown up in a cradle. I'm, I, I grown up, you know, I mean, my mom just put me in the sarong. Sarong actually is a Malay thing. But how to bring it out, I mean, to show the world this is something that really influenced, this is a, a product, you know, out of it. For me, uh, like I play the drums and I'm, I'm using the, the knowledge and then the rhythm that I learned from the tabla. But it's very, very, uh, how to say, very normal. It's inside me. I'm not insist to put this into it. It's very awkward that way. Hence percussion, we did a very pure like music. Very, very like only music. Uh, no stunning things. But I think we have a lot of like potential to do like theatre, music. Uh, for now, this stage of hands percussion, this period, uh, we don't block ourselves to go for like, you know, or we limited ourselves, you just go for theatre. Because theatre, always a piece of theatre work, you need to have something to say. It's very, you know, I mean, have a message to tell the audiences, oh, why they're wearing the mask. Is, is there something behind the story or why they hit the drums like, you know, like mad or maybe they just like do like slow, all oh, this wow, it's like no fall. So it says message on it. 
at the same time, actually, we did a lot of commercial gigs. We, we need to gain money for it. So they want spectra, they want some, some action, you know, with drumming, okay, with kung fu, you know. We did that also. And then last year, actually, we approached with our gamelan set. We do a Tchaikovsky piece on gamelan. So that is pure music. For music lover, they will say, wow, Gamelan actually can do like, you know, this traditional, uh, very Southeast Asia uh, uh, instrument form can do a very Western classical thing. It's a merge. It's an idea also, but that is pure music. Pushing boundary, I think, is every aspect of like artists want to do, even though and your painter, you know, your dancer, uh, a, a performing group, you, know, you, you need to have, have that kind of spirit and motivate yourself. Sometimes you, you have a difficulties, like, you know, you, you, you up to one point, you think you are empty, you don't, don't have any inspiration anymore. You really need to find a way, okay? I think it's very important because why this life of an artist, you need to explore, you need to do uh, experimental. And then another thing is that why I want to push the boundary is like, it's a lot of like uncertainty or maybe a lot of things that you don't know. You don't know, then you want, to, you want to find out. But I'm very lucky enough, I have a group of people that have the same mind with me. We go together. So that makes the thing more beautiful. Mm -hmm.